made my bell siphon yesterday uh, posted it and I already got three messages saying people want more detail on what I did now there's 30 different ways to make these sorry if I'm sweating a little bit it's already hot 30 down here in Texas uh, but there's, there's a whole bunch of different ways of making it this is just my version what I did uh, the problem I had with a lot of the plans you get online is they say use a PVC two and a quarter inch use two and three quarters inch uh, I can't find those and when I talk to some of the plumbing stores they're not carrying those anymore you can get them if they're huge orders now they're used quite a bit in Asia and Australia so if you're in Asia and Australia you'll be able to get some of those pipes without any issue but here in the US it's pretty hard so this is what I had to do for mine to get it to work um, I got this is first we'll start with the bell uh, this is 3 inch PVC um, you know it is schedule 40 it doesn't have to be schedule 40 but that's pretty much what I find there's no pressure or anything like that so what you want to do is measure out 10 and 3 quarters this is for my bed and I'm using a standard depth in all the plans you see for the totes you see online so I made a mark at 10 and 3 quarters so we're going to make that cut here and uh, if I can find my safety goggles, let me one second. There we go. Make sure you safety goggles. This stuff will kick out a little bit like that. So. And the nice thing about using a miter saw is it makes really, really nice cuts. You can see here how nice that is. I did this one by hand yesterday. You can see how kind of rough it is. I'll use that end with the cap so you really won't see it. So you can see here. Uh, the next thing you want to do is we want to cut out the openings for the water. So I use two inches on each side. So what I want to do is mark so I get exactly the center. I'm just drawing a line straight across from each other there. Hope that makes sense. And then take your tape measure and you want one inch on each side of those. Okay? So go an inch this way, it's right there. There, there, right there, and I don't know if you can see it or not, but these are my marks, okay, and those are the areas I'm going to be leaving, so next thing I do is I mark up three quarters of an inch, so that's my depth. And just to make a straight circle, I just use the cap. Put the cap on, go down to my three quarter mark. And this Sharpie's going dead. But it'll suit the purpose for this last one here. Okay. And there's my complete circle. Now, on the marks I made on each side there, I just bring it down. And those are the areas I want to keep. So what I do to make sure I know I'm cutting the right area is I put an X. And what I will be doing is making a cut from here to here. And then, you know, from here to here to here. Okay. You know, here to here. And then I'll just saw in on there. You can see I'm being kind of, it, it's not the safest, but I've been using a saw so it should be pretty safe. So again, be careful when you do this kind of stuff. Okay, here's where it gets 
a little more dangerous, but you know, just be careful. how we got the bell here perfectly made. And what you want to do is just make sure it's clean. Now, this is under pressure, so we do not have to use the primer on this. But if you use, if it's under pressure, make sure you use primer, because what actually the cement does, it actually melts and re-adhes these together. So you're actually welding these together. But since this isn't under pressure, I really don't have to prime it. But I do want a good, tight, airtight seal, so I'm putting the cement on real good. Put it on. As long as you leave this hit for 40 seconds, you're good to go. And your bell is done. Now for the, uh, I'm going to take this off so you guys can see me a little better. Excuse me about this, but it's, like I said, it's already hot 30. Um, now. For the siphon, here's all you do. On mine, with the hole in my bed, nine inches up is where I want the pipe. Okay? And like I said, this one to one and a quarter goes in. So it ends up being, now this is a nine inches. This is just a scrap piece I have. Ends up being, you know, nine and a half to nine and three quarters above the top of the bed. Okay? What I do is. I cut this piece about uh, 11, 12 inches. It doesn't have to be exact because this is that union seal. This is a one inch union seal, one inch pipe. And I think it's one and a quarter hole you drill in and this wedge is in there kind of tight and then this goes through the bottom of the tank just like that. And when that goes through it makes, you know, a airtight seal, you know, watertight seal there. Uh, and I just keep pushing it down until this is nine inches from the bed, not on top of here, from the bed to here. And then when that's in place, I put that on top. And the bell you made goes right in like that and sits on top. And that's it. Now your shroud uh, goes on top of that. What the shroud does, it keeps your media out. Now the problem I have with the shroud is everybody uses a four inch piece of PVC and they cut it and I actually cut one. But the problem I had was I can't get internal caps since I gotta use three, I gotta use a big cap. That's four inches here. It will not fit over. So I either gotta go to a six inch PVC, which I might do, but I'm also thinking is getting a five inch ring, two rings, and just getting screen, a hard screen, and going around so it'll just be a screen shroud instead of a PVC with a bunch of holes in it. So I think that might help keep some of the, if it's a finer screen, help keep some of the worms out and maybe some of the roots. But uh, that's basically how I made my bell siphon. Uh, this is the bell, this is the hard part right here, but you can see how easy and quick that was. And you need one of these sets for every bed. So, and you can, if you're making a smaller uh, bed, you know, uh, you want a little depth, but I mean this would work here too, you just don't have as big as a bell. You only want on top here, when this is here, the gap, you only want about, you know, you want at least an inch of head space, but you probably don't want to go over two and a half, three inches, that's too much, and there it'll, the siphon will break too easy. If it's too low, not much gap, it won't break easy enough, so I find out about an inch and a half, two inches works works about good, somewhere in there. So that's all there is to make the bell siphon. I hope this made sense. Have a great day, everybody.